Hi everyone, my name is Kenny Coleman and we're going to do a quick technical overview of Tanzu Basic Edition. This is not a deep dive, but we are going to look at everything from a high level to get you started. Tanzu Basic Edition delivers all the necessary components required to have a production-ready Kubernetes cluster running on vSphere. This includes lifecycle management of Kubernetes clusters, networking integrations for all communication, and a container registry to secure, store, and manage all of your container images. It's critical to note that Tanzu Basic is only supported on vSphere. Even though all these components within the stack are capable of running on other clouds, Tanzu Basic only entitles you to support with vSphere. One of the primary features of Tanzu Basic is the capability to do complete lifecycle management with Tanzu Kubernetes Grid, which utilizes the open source project Cluster API. Tanzu Kubernetes Grid, otherwise known as TKG, is supported in two ways. With the use of the Tanzu CLI, TKG can deploy and manage Kubernetes clusters running on vSphere 6.7 Update 3 or higher. vSphere 7 brought a new capability called vSphere with Tanzu. Within it is the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid service as a part of Workload Control Plane or WCP. The great thing is that as a customer, you can choose how to run TKG because the same outcome is always achieved. Both offer a simple and highly automated solution to manage the lifecycle of Kubernetes. Tanzu Kubernetes Grid utilizes the Kubernetes API to achieve a desired state configuration. Through the use of the open source tool of Cluster API, the process of creating, updating, and deleting clusters is completely automated. TKG is heavily aligned to the open source community, and everything is built using the best of breed open source solutions from the Kubernetes ecosystem. By having a supported Kubernetes distribution that is aligned to the upstream distribution, any Kubernetes application or primitives such as deployments, operators, or custom resources can be applied to a Tanzu Kubernetes cluster without worry. This also allows VMware to deliver new Kubernetes versions faster, so you always have the most recent, tested, and integrated Tanzu Kubernetes release. vSphere with Tanzu provides more benefits that go beyond capabilities for a Kubernetes operator, but extend to the vSphere administrator. vSphere with Tanzu provides workload segregation through vSphere namespaces, which is sort of like a special resource pool. A vSphere namespace allows a vSphere administrator to limit the types of virtual machine images that are available to Kubernetes operators when building clusters. It also provides role-based access control and its native integration with vSphere single sign-on, and a vSphere administrator can set resource limits on how much CPU, memory, and storage can be consumed from the namespace, making sure there is no cluster sprawl. vSphere with Tanzu has enabled the virtual machine service, where now a Kubernetes operator can deploy a virtual machine the same way that they would deploy a Tanzu Kubernetes grid cluster or a Kubernetes deployment using kubectl, which is the same interface they're already familiar with. Harbor is a registry that does more than just containers. Harbor is a graduated project in the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, making it a stable project right alongside Kubernetes. It's built using the Open Container Initiative, or OCI, to allow storing, managing, and securing multiple types of Cloud Native objects, such as Helm charts and Cloud Native Application Bundles, or CNABs. Harbor has an image vulnerability scanning framework that interrogates and scan images manually or based on a schedule to look for and report on critical vulnerability exploits. With multi-tenancy in mind, Harbor is able to secure images using role-based access control and making sure objects are stored between namespaces. Built-in replication allows Harbor to not only replicate images to other Harbor instances, but images can be pushed and pulled from 10 different image repositories, including Docker Hub. Harbor can verify that users don't use more space than they should by enforcing project quotas and having image tag retention policies. And these are only a handful of features that come with Harbor. By default, Antria is the preferred container networking interface plugin that will take care of east and west networking traffic between the containers and pods within Kubernetes. Antria uses open vSwitch technology as a consistent data plane, but if needed, Calico is supported as a plugin. If a Kubernetes operator requests a service of type load balancer, one will be provided through Tanzu Kubernetes Grid's integrations with either NSX Advanced Load Balancer, NSXT, or HA Proxy. This process is completely automatic and will perform all the necessary operations of talking to the load balancer service or the controller provisioning a load balancer, and then tying it back to the Kubernetes service that was deployed. I hope this quick five-minute overview gives you an idea of what you can accomplish with Tanzu Basic. To learn more, 
please make sure you check out the videos and the product demos, including the VMware Hands-On Labs, Test Drive, and Pathfinder.